Nate Reish is in Victoria, third consecutive global title, T38, 1,500 meters, 40307 at the Para Athletic World Championships in Paris, France. Look, you got a push from Reese Langdon of Australia, but tell us about the finish of the race and how well it went for you, Nate. Yeah, absolutely. The um, the race plan kind of <laughs> went out the window pretty early. I didn't want to take the lead till a bit later in the race, but I found myself uh, out front pretty early. Um, and really, I wasn't trying to do very much work or at least not make it too fast because uh, I kind of wanted to try a new race strategy. And then uh, with 200 meters to go, uh, I didn't really want to lead the last 200. So tried to kind of slow down a little bit and try and lay, lay a little trap. And he ended up jumping me with 200 to go and uh, kind of I smiled, smiled a little bit. And uh, with 100 to go, I just came on his shoulder and uh, asked, uh, blasted home. And obviously with 50 meters to go, I may or may not have gotten a little excited. Yeah, tell us about that because uh, it appears that the Grey Wolf mentality came out at the end of the race. There was hooting and hollering on your part. And uh, what prompted that, Nate? I think there, there was just so much emotion uh, built up for me. So many people were saying that Reese was was going to be be the one to beat me, and uh, and I think I just put a lot of pressure on myself. And uh, so I think in that moment, it all ended up ended up coming out. And my family and friends were all there. My girlfriend and my mom were there, and uh, they'd never seen me run inter internationally before. So it was just such a such a special moment for me. You know, uh, you, you had put out on social media that you hoped uh, the kid that was in a hospital bed after, uh, after your accident would be proud of that moment. Um, do you think that kid would be proud? Yeah, I think that kid would be very, very, very proud. I think, you know, as you said, that I just felt goosebumps uh, go, go, go throughout my body. And, uh, you know, I, I just I don't think that kid knew what that outlook on life would actually be. And uh, if he could have a a flash forward and, and, and see this. I don't think he would really believe it, but I think he would be very, very proud. You know, uh, the Canadian team did very well at these para-athletics world championships, 14 medals, best performance uh, in a decade since the, the games were in Lyon, France. Um, is there a good atmosphere amongst the team, Nate? Yeah, there is, there is an absolutely great one. There's a, such a high-performance environment, which I think we really lacked in... 20, 2019 and Carla Nichols has done some really, really tough work and really great work to uh, to to get us to that point. And uh, the culture is completely shifted. Uh, I think our captains did an amazing job. Uh, and so it was just really cool to see it all come together at a national championships. Uh, you know what? Uh, 347 and change your world record in the 1500 meters. Time marches on. You're going to be uh, 29, I believe, at the time of the Paralympic Games in Paris. Is that 347 beatable on your part? Oh, yeah, that, that's definitely going to go down here soon. Um, fairly, really, really confident. Uh, workouts have been better than 20, 2021. And uh, unfortunately, I just haven't, ha haven't put it together. But uh, I'm going to try and convince my coach to let me get one more crack at it uh, later this year. And uh, and I think next year it'll it'll go down as well. Um, last one uh, from me regarding this, and and that is there were fans in the stands. There was a crowd. It wasn't like the Paralympic Games in Tokyo. Um, do you feed off that? And and did this give you a taste, Nate, of what might be to come at the Paralympic Games in Paris next summer? Yes, definitely. I, I think I definitely feed, feed off of it. To be honest with you, I'd never really run in front of a packed crowd before. Uh, so that was uh, th that was a new experience for me. And I think maybe that's why I got so pumped up at the end as well as, you know, the stadium was so loud. It was just roaring the, the, the entire time. And uh, I'd certainly hope that Paris 24 is exactly like that. Hey, Nate, uh, you're a great champion. Thank you so much for doing this. Congratulations. Thank you so much for having me, Scott.